Hi, my name is Cleo Kelly. I'm a senior at Lincoln Southwest. Yes, T. Stephen! And this is my angry poem about antidepressants. I was prescribed antidepressants on April 25th, 2017. It was a Tuesday. Since then, I've noticed my depression start to recede like the tide moving out and exposing little shells and creatures that would otherwise be under the ocean. The depression waves calmed and I started to show through the sand. You'd think that'd be it. You'd think I'd be satisfied. She's cured, mission accomplished, and they all lived happily ever after in their neurotypical kingdom. I didn't see that the story didn't exactly have a written ending. My psychiatrist, or anyone for that matter, didn't warn me how the medication would affect my creativity, how it would make writing seem like homework. I just stare at the blank white page for what seems like hours. It's so difficult to write about emotions and feeling and being human when you feel like a hollow piece of driftwood. Since April 25th, I haven't written anything worth a heck, and I don't know if I ever will, unless I stop taking my meds. But not taking medication would only let the drowning effects of sadness wash over me. It's as if I'm stuck at the bottom of one of my orange prescription bottles, and the pills, one by one, are being stacked on top of me until my knees give out. And maybe this time it'll all be too heavy. I don't want to stop taking them to find out, but I miss being able to write, to check out of the real world for a while and just put words on paper. To not be afraid of being judged for expressing how I feel and share some of my darkest feelings out loud with a room full of strangers. I want to experience my sadness and anger and loneliness rather than put a mask over it. I feel like I've been robbed of a part of myself that I only just started to get to know. I honestly don't know what comes next. I don't know what I want to do after I graduate because I didn't think I'd make it this far, so stop asking me. <laughs> I want to experience my sadness and anger and loneliness rather than put a mask over it. I want to write a happy poem. I'm not satisfied with this state of being. In fact, I'm angry about it. 